in the video, we're going to take a look at the NN Normal Kerjag and the Solomon S Lab uh, Pulsar Soft Ground. They share a lot of similarities in being originally developed for Killian Journey's needs. They both share a 23 millimeter heel and 6 millimeter drop. I've taken them out here in New Hampshire, one on each foot. And first, we're going to get into all the details, and then I'll give you my thoughts on fit and ride and some conclusions in the video. Both were personal purchases. The NN Normal is $195 and the Solomon $180. Hello everybody, Sam from Road Trail Run. Today we're going to look at some white and gray shoes on a pretty cloudy day. They're hot shoes. I'm going to call this the Battle of the Killian Shoes because over here we have the NN Normal Kerjag um, from Killian's new company. And over here we have the Solomon S Lab uh, Pulsar, the soft ground version. So these are two shoes that uh, in large part were designed for Killian's needs. Oh, our uh, Kerjag, he won the Hard Rock and the UTMB in. And over here, uh, I think in the non-soft ground version, he, he set the record at Sierra Zinal. And I saw a lot of these at the Golden Trail series. Um, it's a great choice when the ground is sloppy. Now, let's get into a few uh, details here, of course, because that's what we do here. Let's first start with a uh, comparative weight of these two. So the Kejirag is 213 grams, 7.55 ounces in my US 8.5. That's my usual size, and they fit true to size. Over here, I have a US 9 or EU 42 and 2 thirds. So I'm a half size up in the uh, soft ground and I am just fine. It weighs um, 18 grams less or uh, 6.88 ounces, 195 grams. So there's a difference in weight. Where might that come from? Well, our Kerjag has a wider platform. Oops, I lost one, but that's okay. It has a wider platform on the ground. Uh, about five millimeters wider at the heel, same at the midfoot, and a big 10 millimeters wider at the forefoot. So you've got a wider platform going on here. And that translates into the ride, uh, which we'll get into, and also to a certain extent the fit, because you can see we have a wider toe box here. Um, now let's talk a little bit about uppers while we're looking at them. Both of them are from uh, Matrix Uppers. Um, here we have a denser, aram with I think more aramid fibers. It's uh, less kind of forgiving, but very, very precise on the Solomon. In the Ked Kedrag, and I'm gonna say it wrong, uh, also Matrix, but you can see we have a less uh, kind of dense arrangement of the Kevlar fibers. Now we also have differences in the construction of the heel counters and the tongue. Here it is a stretch knit with, of course, the quick laces, whereas over here we have a conventional tongue with a gusset. Both of them share no insole. You sit right on the foam, very similar there. Um, now, in terms of, um, in terms of the uh, toe boxes, you can really see the difference here between the two. Uh, you've got considerably more room, more forgiving room. We're going to get into the fit on the run. You have a stiffer, uh, kind of more vertical toe bumper in the Solomon. Now let's talk a bit more about foam, but we'll get the grip too. So we have Energy Surge here, a uh, EVA um, olefin copolymer block. Blend, uh, quite soft, depressing, softer even than the Kerjag, a bit firmer, uh, with a medial post in here, uh, and also we have a hardened foam rock plate. In the Kerjag, it's a single slab of foam. Not sure what it is, but I think it is a supercritical foam. It's quite, it's denser uh, than um, the Energy Surge. Reminds me on the run a bit of the uh, f kind of denser Zoom X in the Zegama Trail from Nike. It does not appear to be a beaded foam, so I think it is injected. There is no rock plate in the uh, Kedrag. Um, and you can see, I'm going to show you the relative flexes. 
you've got a nice front flex point and then it extends a bit further back. Whereas over here in our Solomon with that rock foam rock plate, you can see you get that Ford flex, but it's quite rigid behind that. So that translates in some differences in the ride, which I'm going to share with you from the run as I usually do. Now, uh, let's of course talk about outsoles because that's key here also. Uh, Kona grip for our Solomon and Vibram mega, uh, mega grip with the light base design. So we have uh, four and a half millimeter lugs here, three and a half millimeter lugs here. You'll also notice the uh, pattern. You've got broader, let me turn it around. You've got broader contact uh, lugs in the, in the uh, NN normal and kind of more widely spaced lugs in the Solomon. So a little, maybe a little better mud clearing, a little more grip on the soft stuff, whereas here, smoother, kind of a more, um, uh, a flatter, more contact ride. I don't think either of them have any grip issues. So uh, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, let's talk a bit about price. Okay, very similar in price. All these specs are very similar. 195 here, 180 here. Also, midsole stack height. I measure an identical 23 millimeters at the heel, six millimeters of uh, spec drop. So very, very similar. I think we'd find the regular, um, the regular uh, Pulsar to be a little bit lower because it has a millimeter less of lug height uh, thereabouts. Um, now, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take them out on the run in Portsmouth. I've run a bunch of times in the soft ground. I just got the Kerjag, um, so I've run twice in them. So I'm gonna share my impressions from what I did, which was an A, B run, one on each foot, uh, as I often do. And I do that if the, if the uh, drop and the stack height is very similar, so I can really get a sense of the difference between the two. So please stay tuned. Okay, let's talk a little bit about fit. Uh, this Pulsar uh, soft ground is at a nine, 42 and two thirds. And over here, I am at my usual true to size eight and a half or EU 42. So there's clearly a wider toe box in um, the uh, NN normal. You can also see it has a uh, wider uh, toe bumper and to, it's soft. It's a very soft toe bumper. Over here, it's more vertical and firmer. Um, it's a more comfortable fit, if you will, in the NN normal. Just about as equally well held. Maybe not quite as precise as you head further back uh, towards the end of the laces. Um, midfoot's very, very similar in hold. Very secure. We do have a more conventional heel counter and padding, whereas over here we have the little bolsters on the inside. Both are well held, but uh, along with the wider platform, uh, what we have is a little bit more stable platform here in our NN normal compared to the soft ground. So we're at dead flat sea level. I like to run on firm, smoother stuff to really get a feel of the differences without too many variations. This is called Little Harbor. We're in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And the big hotel is the Wentworth by the Sea. And if you're familiar with John Irving novels, that is Hotel New Hampshire. So up a few little hills here, finding the uh, normal, a bit more stable on the rockier stuff at these slower paces. So the ride's very similar on softer surfaces, but on firmer, there are quite a few differences. And I'll get into that in the, in the ride section here in a little bit. So this is where things get fun with these. They feel so light on foot. Our uh, Pulsar soft ground, a little more dynamic in the forefoot because of its uh, hardened foam rock plate. Our, uh, and then normal has kind of an easier, smoother, flexing kind of profile as we go up here. A little easier to dig in. 
floor pieces. Well, the uh, soft ground likes to really push it. Okay, let's talk about the comparative ride here between these two beauties. Well, on this softer forest kind of trail, very, very similar. However, when you're on firmer ground, you'll notice the uh, and, and normal foam is uh, very springy. It reminds me a lot of um, Zoom X in the Zegama Trail. So it's kind of dense, kind of firm, but extremely um, springy. We've always said the uh, Pulsar with its energy surge is bouncy. Doesn't feel as bouncy in comparison. Uh, there's, there's softness, uh, but it's not the same. We also have that medial firmer post, which I think works well on this narrower overall platform. There's none in our NN normal. However, what you really notice here is the 10 millimeter wide platform on the ground of the NN normal, both at the front, same at the midfoot, that Killian wanted a little more uh, forgiving front of the shoe, uh, both the upper and the wider platform. He wanted a bit more stability for those long races, whereas in the Pulsar, and maybe it was as it was really intended, maybe for his Sierra Zinal record, the 30K, up, down, super fast, he wanted a kind of uh, longer, more arrow directed ride, less, never on the heel, although it's okay at the heel. So you can see the evolution of his thinking. I think the this shoe is a very versatile shoe. I don't think too many people will do ultras in it. Uh, maybe a bit old school given the cushioning, but some will. But if you, if you just want a fun, fast shoe that'll handle just about any trail, decent distances, fantastic on the road, reminds me of kind of an old school race flat, but with more cushioning and more dynamic springier cushioning. It's really a great option. If you need uh, a bit more traction, you want a bit more precise fit, um, you, you'll go with your your soft ground here. Uh, it is definitely a speedster, maybe more of a speedster, even though Killian certainly goes fast in his, than our and then normal. Um, both have the matrix uppers, although the jacquard approach here not all kind of super dense with the aramid fibers is a little more comfortable very similar fit um, a little less pressure over the laces in the nn normal than in the solomon but very similar i really like the real heel counter the padding of it nothing wrong with what we got here it's just a little more comfortable maybe adds a bit of weight so that that's the scoop thank you very much for watching I'm going to have a full written review of the Kerjag over on Road Trail Run. They're available now, $195. The Solomon Soft Ground, Pulsar, Pulsar Soft Ground is also available now, $180. Choices, choices. I think come winter on the snow, I'll be in the, in the, the Pulsar Soft Ground for these runs here on these mellow trails or Park City. I think the end, end normal on the dirt, the harder stuff, harder pack kind of stuff is really, really fine.